I'm David McKinnon, and this is a specialist performance video on string bending. <laughs> That kind of little lick I played there, there was three bends in there, uh, they were all tone bends, I did them slightly differently, used different techniques, but essentially what they were, they were all tone bends, which is probably the most common type of bend that guitarists use. And it's essentially the same as playing C, D, C. By using the string bend you can make it a lot smoother. That's really the reason the guitarists use it, um, that, that nice smooth sound you can get from it. It's a very expressive way of playing and you can put a lot of emotion into your playing by doing it. So I think it's an essential technique for any lead guitar player. Um, there's, there's lots of different things you can do as well, that was a tone bend I did there, semitone bend. <laughs> Down this end, down the end of the guitar. I'm applying quite a lot of pressure when I'm doing it and I'm pushing the string towards the ceiling. Down this end of the guitar. So that's much resistance, so it's a lighter touch. Semitone bends, and here we go with a tone and a half bend. Big one that one. Bending up to the minor third and back down from the E there. Down this end of minor. Uh, so different techniques you can do bending, you can do unison bends. It's a bit messier than ones, but a lot of people like that kind of sound, that's okay. It's in this position, playing the E note, the D note, and raising the D note until it reaches the E. And the slower you do it, it, it sounds like that sound may sound quite messy to some people, but a lot of people like that kind of sound as well. Um, you've got choke bends. You can kind of get a lot out of your lick doing that kind of thing. Um, there's not really any set rules for this kind of thing. Add a bit of a brattle to it if you want. Add quite a lot there, really. Just a little bit. Get a bit of sustain. You pick it. Get a nice harmonic sound there. So, as I say, you can be really pretty free with this kind of thing. Add a bit of a brattle to the top and it's going to sound really good. Bending is it's quite similar technique to vibrato actually, because vibrato is really doing lots of little bends. So there's a few different types of bends there. Um, and they can be used kind of uh, to, to, to form licks, kind of fast repeating licks, things like this. Right, to add a good bit of excitement to a guitar solo doing that kind of thing. That, that kind of thing is more about yeah, adding excitement uh, than it is really about tone and melody, if you would say. Like, Very accurate with that, but it's this kind of thing. You can almost get away with it a little bit as long as you're not too far out, if you're not absolutely dead in tune every time, just because it's so fast. But with this kind of thing. Got me back on. So I'm just going to finish up by playing along to a backing track here, a guitar solo, just so you can get an idea of how I would use these kind of bends and form a guitar solo. And I'll throw in a lot of different techniques, pro probably more than on the wooden one solo, but just, just to show you all the different types of things you can do. So, here we go.